Well, good morning, folks. Here we are again, Boddington Reservoir for another angling trust. Boddington Classic Qualifier. This is qualifier number two. I did say I'd try and film all the qualifiers that I'm on. Hopefully, this will be the last one, and I'll qualify again. But I said that last time, tip didn't even move. So, um, yeah, I'm on peg 84. It's um, not on the ground there, it's just uh, on the fence there, as you can see. So it's actually the last, um, what we call like concrete stepped peg. So further down to my right there, that it all gets uh, a bit more sort of natural. And you've got to kind of get in the water and that so that's a bit of a result. I've got a comfy peg. Um, I can see I've got a bit of a fence line behind me. So you have to be careful there with the old casting and not get caught in that. So um, yeah, so this is uh, my office for the day. Uh, there's the old windmill going round, as you can see. That's uh, you probably don't even see it on the camera, but that's uh, spinning round quite uh, quite well today. So um, yeah, it's a bit windy, so apologies uh, on the sound. Uh, it's overcast and it's drizzly, and I think it's just going to be like that all day. We're going to get a, yeah, going to get a bit of participation. Um, that's probably the wrong way of saying it. It's going to it's going to rain basically most of the day. So um, but yes. Um, it's still not been fishing very well up here. It's been really peggy. Um, you know, there, there's not been lots of numbers of fish coming out. You know, you hear suddenly that someone's done well, but then the people around them didn't kind of thing. So yeah, it's been fishing really tough again. Um, my section today is um, 75, um, which is down there. Um, obviously, all the way up to me, I'm on the I'm on the end of the section at 84. Once again, it's a six peg section, so there's just six anglers I've got to beat. Um, I've got to fancy it to be fair I would rather be up this end of the section um, and I'm on the end of it as well so um, I haven't got to compete with the guys further down that way because um, they tend to be the better pegs um, so yeah I've, but who knows <laughs> who knows just don't know at the moment with Boddington so doesn't look like it's going to be a day that the pellet wag's going to work um, it's yeah going to be really overcast and drizzly um, but once again you never know I'm going to set it up and give it a go so anyway, right, as you can see, all my gear's over there on my trolley still. So I'm going to, um, yeah, get myself tackled up, get all my gear out. And um, yeah, I should come back to you just before they all in. So I'll see you in a bit. Cheers, guys. Well, there, folks. Well, that's me set up at the moment. So there we go. All there, ready to go. So you can see I've got um, yeah two rods on me roost there and one on my rod rest. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've got three rods set up today. Um, once again, I'm going to be apologies for the sound quality. Uh, the wind is uh, yeah blowing kind of right in me chuffer here really. So. Unfortunately, that's going to be blowing straight into the microphone during the day. So, uh, yeah, apologies for that. But, um, yeah, just my normal, my normal setup. Um, all three spirit rods, all high S um, power feeders. Um, I've got the um, 13 foot, um, as you can see there, which is the three spirit high S power feeder distance. And uh, that's going to be my method rod, um, obviously fishing at distance. And then I've got the Free Spirit High S um, Power Feeder Special. That's the 11 foot. Um, and that's my bomb rod. As you can see on there, I've got that set up, a bomb or pellet. And then I've got the High S Carp Waggler, 12 foot. Um, Obviously free spirit, so yeah, and as you can see, I've just got the uh, wag set up there. Pellet wag. So, um, oh, hello Mr. Swan. No, he's off. <laughs> That's what the fish normally do when it's about the all-in for me as well. Um, I don't know if I fancy it or not really, to be honest with you. It uh, just feels miserable because it's drizzly and rainy and whatnot, but rain's just stopped at the moment, so I'll put the camera on normal approach i've got me um peg number one 
11 mils, peg number one. Eight mils, I've also got the peg number one, um, eight mil blacks in there as well, just to add a, a bit of different colour there. I've got my uh, micros set up in there. So I've got an array of, of wafters in there, as you can see. So, you know, it's got my catapult, obviously, so ping with pellets. Um, obviously, the trusty stopwatch, but um, it's funny, actually, I had someone um, message me a couple of videos ago about the stopwatch, and they couldn't really understand why I use a stopwatch, and they were, they were talking about uh, watercraft, and that they've never had to use a stopwatch because of their watercraft. Well, um, all I can say is it's helped my fishing immensely. Um, because I don't know about you, but you can sit there fishing and you really don't know what the time is and how quick the time goes. You think you've, you've only been out there for maybe five minutes. Um, you've actually been out there for 15 minutes and you know, you, it's, it's, it's funny fishing. It seems to make the, make the time seems to fly, go really quickly. Uh, it's because we all enjoy it, I suppose. But um, yeah, it just allows me to, to just keep an eye on um, when I'm getting bites, that is. It's been a, been a, been a bit light on bites the last couple of matches, but uh, yeah, when I'm getting bites, it gives me an idea of when they're coming, what time they're coming. Um, so I don't end up, you know, leaving my rig out there longer than what it needs to be. Um, now, if I'm getting bites every four minutes, then guess to six minutes that's coming in there's no point wasting that you know get it back out there again um whereas if i'm getting bites every 15 minutes then um it stays out there for 15 minutes and maybe leave it to you know 18 minutes before it comes in it just gives you an idea of what's going on um and without a watch some kind of watch um you know i, I struggle to um to kind of like know exactly what's going on so yeah using a stopwatch just just makes it a lot more accurate for me so um, yeah, so that hopefully that explains why I use a stopwatch. Um, yeah, so that's really me today. Nothing different to what I normally do. Um, it's quite a good area up here, to be fair, in the 80s. Obviously, I'm 84, mid-80s. I've got, uh, yeah, obviously, chapter set up there is on 82. Then, obviously, we've got um, 80. Then, I think he's... Is he on? Yeah, he's on 82. Yeah, and anyway, it goes all the way down to um, 70. What did I say? 75 is my section. Yeah, all the way down there at 75. So, um, so all these guys to my right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not fishing against them. So, don't know how well you can see over. You've got on the opposite side there. That's um, obviously. I think you see that's the boating club. So that's the sailing club. And obviously that's a section over there. Um, not been over there this year, so um, yeah, don't quite know how it's fishing. I think there's a few fish coming out, but once again, still been pretty hard. Um, yeah, but all these guys, all the way up and around the corner, they're um, you know they go into the 90s and then the hundreds. Yeah, I'm not fishing against those. So I've just literally got six anglers this way, as you can see them all now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like the guy there. I don't know if you can see it, but he's he's he's, he's got his landing net sticking kind of right up at an angle. So, yeah, so that's me. I'll, I'll keep an eye on all of them because I'm going to be sort of sat that way looking at my tip. Um, my approach, I'm just going to be pinging pellets, hope, hoping to see a few signs. I've actually seen a couple of fish fairly close in, so i um, tempted to just go out on the bomb and pellet to start off with. And I might put a little tea bag on there as well um as it's literally going to be my first cast just to see if it just draws. I've just seen another, another fish top out there at about... 40 meters actually not in front of me but in front of the guy next to me so there's a few fish about more than what i thought i was going to see in these weather conditions so yeah there's a chance it might go around today with a bit of luck so yes yeah, so i might just try a short chuck on the bomb line uh, to start off with because i think there have been there's been matches up here so a lot of pellets have been going in at that distance so there might be the odd fish just mooching around there but it probably won't be up in the water at the moment because it's just it's just it's just miserable and cold to be honest with you so it might take a little bit of um a bit of uh, a bit of effort we keep pinging in pellets to get a few fish to come up uh in these conditions if they come up at all so i mean completely different to the last qualifier the last qualifier was like bright sunshine it was lovely and you really thought that um there'd be a few fish coming up but uh yeah i mean in, in the end literally the last few minutes to go i had a few fish come up and ended up bloody foul looking one which was a bit unfortunate but there you go so and i didn't get it in in the end i lost it so but i don't think it was big enough to win the section anyway so yeah so that's me today i'll um yeah i'm gonna uh just have a little bite to eat and a little drink not brought the donuts today and i've not brought any pork pies either so um yeah so i've, I've actually not brought a great great deal really to eat 
so um yeah they've not really been bringing me a lot of luck to be honest with you so um yeah i don't quite know what i'm gonna do when i keep adding all these nets in with all these fish <laughs> wishful thinking anyway i'm gonna um yeah i'll come back to you in a minute once um once you all went once we've uh, started fishing anyway and uh yeah hopefully i have one or two fish to show you come back to you in a bit cheers tada well i've been fishing for 20 minutes on a bomb didn't have a sign picking pellets all that time just gone out on a pellet wag second cast, it's gone round. And funny enough, when that fish took it, quite a few other fish spooked as well, so there was a few fish there, which is good. So certainly quicker than the last qualifier to get an indication. Let's just hope this ends up um, a bit better than last time and uh, actually managed to get it in and it's not fair looked. Certainly an angry one again. <laughs> I think he's had one on the end of the section on 75 as well. Yeah, Robbie's had one as well. There's, there's a few coming out early doors actually. So we go double cameras again. Yeah, camera reception. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at all. Hey, you got it in last time, didn't you? When, yeah, when it was double cameras, I did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I can't remember if it was foul looked or not, but you definitely had one. Uh, I can't remember if that was the one that was on uh, the double camera. I definitely had one foul looked in a final, yeah. Got one, two up from you as well. I don't know if he's in your, you know, he's not in that section, is he? No. There's definitely a few about. Yeah, this was, I've been out, I was out in a bomb and nothing, no signs, no liners, nothing. And I thought, I'll give it a go on the wag. Yeah. Second cast, wallop. That's perfect because I just said that as I was walking up here. I said, I reckon, you know, early 80s, maybe into them early 90s, around them trees, they'll, they'll have a few on the way. Yeah, so. well, there's certainly a few fish showing. Not, you know, only every 10 minutes you'd see one, you know, while we were sat here waiting. Y you know what? Sometimes that's better. Those are days when it's basking hot and you can see 20 fish on the surface tend to be the hardest days. Yeah. Right? Well, I'm glad it's going to be a better day. Thought well, it's too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> Can it come up and play nicely? Nicely. Already looking for 
forward to your video. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, John. Down there, aren't they? Yeah, they do, don't they? It's, it's holding a lot of water at the minute as well, haven't they? They've got even more depth to bury themselves down there. Makes up about a foot since uh, two weeks ago, the last fell apart, I'd say. He's not happy. Get in there. There we go. She's in. She's in the net. Better than last time. She's in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Nice Barney. Yeah, that's it. We'll stop pestering Alan. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Cheers guys. Cheers. Oh, there we are. Nice uh, nice double that. So uh go again, see if we can get another one. Well, it just took about another 15 minutes. It's gone again, out on the pellet wag. Nice to catch a few of this today. This goes to show I really didn't think it was going to be a pellet wag day with the way the weather is. Rainy, overcast. But, um, maybe that's what they want. So they're not, uh, not seeing uh, with the sun shining. They're not really seeing what it is, you know. We're just coming up feet. Behaved yourself better than the last one. <laughs> there we go, number two. Another double. Go again. Right then, guys. It's an hour and 20 minutes gone. Um, and yeah, as you've seen, I've had two on a pellet wag. Um, and I've been trying hard since I caught that second one. And um, yeah, I've not had another 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 nibble on it, unfortunately. There was a few fish there, but um, yeah, they seem to have moved across to the guys two to my right. They were not in my section. Um, they, had, they had a spell where they sort of caught about four fish each. So, um, so anyway, I'm still, uh, as you can see, pinging out the pellets and um, yeah, going to carry on. And I've just gone out on the bomb, so uh, that's only been out there a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to see if there's anything down there on the bottom on that um, pellet line. And um, yeah, if that don't go round, I'll have another little look on the pellet wagon and then maybe I'll go out on a method feed. I've not tried that yet. So um, there's definitely been fish topping out there. I've been looking at them. So hopefully uh, there might be one or two fish out there. In my section, I've seen, so far I've seen two guys catch a carp. 
Um, if they've caught more than that or not, I don't know, because I've been concentrating, obviously. Um, but um, yeah, at the moment, um, we're only, like I say, an hour and 20 minutes in, but at the moment, I'm, I look like I'm in the running at the moment. So, um, but uh, yeah, still a long way to go. We'll keep going. Hopefully come back to you with another fish on. See you in a bit, bye. Well, I was just out on the bomb. I've had a couple of goes. And uh, next door to me just went out on the pellet wagon, had one straight away. I flicked some more pellets out there and I saw a few fish I just cast out there and it's just gone straight away. So, yeah, a bit strange. As soon as you change over from the pellet wag to a bomb, then the fish blooming turn up. But um, there you go. Anyway, there's a few fish out there still, which is good. See, I've got my coat on now. I apologise. Camera lens. Been raining a little bit. Fish has got no tail. Another double. again so we get another one all right guys well there's two and a half hours to go um, I've still only had three at the moment so um, there's a guy down right on the other end the peg um, he's actually fishing with a pole and he's, he's catching catching carp on the pole um, and I think he's also catching some nice roach as well so I don't know quite how many he's had um, but yeah still very very tight um, I'm out on the bomb again now. I went out on the pellet wag for quite a while. Um, obviously I caught that last one. Since then I've been on it for quite a while. I've had one more, one more inquiry. It's actually a lie, it's two inquiries. Um, and uh, yeah, spooked them I think, because I actually sort of like hooked one and it got off straight away. And then went out there again, had another bite, but missed it. And that's it, I'm not adding any more tutties, no more signs. So, uh, yeah, out on the bottom of pellet now, see if there's uh, any inquiries down on the bottom. Hopefully, come back to you with another one on. See you in a bit. Right, guys, hour and a half to go. Um, still only on the free fish. I'm out on the method feeder now. Um, just done two casts at 70 metres. And, um, yeah, I've just actually just took my clip off and gone out as far as I can go. I don't know quite what distance it was, which is probably not far short from 100 metres. Um, just to see if I can get one long, about three pegs down, chaps just had one, he must have been casting a good 100 metres. So I thought I'd give that a go and see what happens. Um, not really seen any fish moving on that wag line now. Um, had a go on the bomb for a bit, but just don't think they're getting their heads down there. So um, yeah, I should give this a go at distance on the method feeder. And then I think I'll, um, you yeah, know, I've rested that wag line long enough. I'll go back out there again and have a little look. Hopefully come back to you with a fish on guys. See you in a bit. Well, as you can see, it's uh, not very pleasant at the moment. Apologies for the uh, camera quality. Still only on free fish. Got 50 minutes to go. Um, Going to concentrate on the pellet wag now to see if I can mug the odd one. So, 
not really seeing anything out there. Next door's just gone out back out on the pallet wagon as well and he's just bumped one. So there still is the odd fish having a little look. So we'll keep going, see if we can get that uh, all important fourth fish. Fingers crossed, come back to you in a bit. Well, that's it. The whistle's gone. I didn't get any more. I lost one. Next door, I lost one as well. So, um, yeah, both lost them on the wag. But, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to get a few more than that, to be honest with you, the way it was going on the waggler this morning. But, um, never mind, at least I've had some this time. I don't really know who's caught what down there. I know there's, there's, there's possibly twos, threes. Hopefully no one's had four. So, I know next door's had three. I've had three. So, um, and I think a couple more down from him's had three. So, yeah, if we're all on three, it's all going to come down to the size of the fish. So... Anyway, going to start packing away, and um, I've got to do the scales as well, so which is going to be fun. So I'll come back to you in a bit. Cheers. Seventeen kilos, seven hundred and fifty grams. No, no, is it grams? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. So let's just go and see what the others are do. The others have got, and uh, I'll come back to you. Cheers. Well, then, guys, all over and done with. Um, weighed the section in, and uh, like I say, I was on the end of the section, and lucky enough, I've won the section, so I've qualified for the Boddington Classic final. So I'll be looking forward to that. Um, I ended up with just over seventeen kilos. And chap next door to me uh, ended up with just over 14 kilos so we both lost fish um, so it was yeah a bit of a yeah a bit of a close one to be honest with you so um, there was a couple of carp caught um, by a couple of guys and another guy had one carp and some roach um, but uh, yeah and a few lost fish as well but um, but there we are yes I'm really pleased I hope you've enjoyed the video um, if you have enjoyed it then obviously give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more of these then try and hit subscribe i think a lot of people are getting confused on how to subscribe but you have to actually have an account on youtube um someone's trying to do it the other day and they were messaging me it's because i hadn't got an account on youtube so you have to get an account to subscribe it's dead easy it don't cost you anything so um, you just need to set it up so but uh, yes there we go another boddington classic qualifier so i shall uh, see you in the final See you in the swim soon, guys. Bye.